My dad never really liked me going with him to the track in the mornings. That was always my dream because I wanted to see like the horses work because it's too dangerous, it's too dangerous, and there's horses everywhere. So I think the first time like my dad let me go to the track with him was in Del Mar, San Diego, which is my favorite place on this planet. Um, he let me go, I was like 13 or 14. He took me at like four or five in the morning for the horses to work and everything, and I fell in love. It was just amazing. Just like the fog over the track and then you see the horses running, but you don't see the horses, you just see their breath when they run. Like, it was the coolest experience ever. And I was there literally every day from there and out, every morning with my dad at four in the morning. Cause I got so excited when it was food time. I would be the only reason that carrots were allowed in the barn because my dad would say carrots are only allowed to the horses if they win. But every time he went, dad, can we get a bag of carrots, please? Okay, and I'd go every single horse and give him a carrot. Saturdays, the weekends were always car wash days at my house. Like we'd wash every single car. I was probably two or three, I had to been little, in a ball cap backwards and we're playing, washing cars. My mom I, in the background, squirt daddy, see me squirt dad. So I pick up the hose like this and I'm shooting at myself and I start squirting him all over the yard, literally everywhere. So this always, always, always throwing things. So I think that's why they put me in softball. Literally since about five years old, I was in t-ball and just never, never looked back. Just played softball for the rest of my life. I think my favorite horse, I have, there's two. So the first one growing up, his name was Wild Buddy. And this horse, literally, you couldn't even put a jockey on it, but it was one of my dad's best horses. And then I fell in love with my dad's horse named I Can See, and it only had one eye. So every time I went to the track, I would just stare at this horse. It still had an eye socket and it still blinked and everything. There was just no eyeball in it. And it was one of the, probably one of my dad's best horses because that eye was on the rail, so he was never afraid of the rail. So he always won going down the rail. I love animals in general and I thought, oh, maybe I'll be a vet. But then I thought I cannot see an animal in pain. So I couldn't, that literally took it out of the question right away. It's like, I can't do it. I want to work special needs kids. I worked at a stable called Rideable about 10 minutes um, past Eugene all different ranges of disabilities, Down syndrome, autism, some are paralyzed, and they get to ride horses basically. So I was one of the ones that was right beside them always like telling them which way to go, especially for ones that were like paralyzed from the waist down, like I held their body up while they were riding. It was just awesome. A life-changing experience. experience. I'm hoping they have that in California because I will definitely be there. Good day. Portland, about aboard the plane to Las Vegas. Currently in a really hot airplane. They overbooked our flight. This is who I'm sitting next to. Potato, 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 potato. We have arrived in Las Vegas, Nevada. Beautiful desert. We're in Las Vegas. Nevada. Mandalay Bay is where we're gonna eat tonight. Gwen Speck is here reporting live. I stole the camera. Are you wearing clothes? Shh, no one needs to know. I'm taking over. Business major, cinema minor. Daria? That's not true. Vicky, it's called. How's your day been? Uh, it's good. I was late to the bus. Oh, good. Gwen Speck is his awful footage. Over and out. Pants to dinner. I don't have softball pants on. Oh, my bad. <laughs> There's no holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I'm large. Making a bit emoji. Day one, oh practice yeah. before our two games. Get ready to go. Don't We're locked care. out here in Vegas. We have been locked out of the field, and this is a conspiracy. That's all I have to say. Get to the park to practice, can't quite practice. I'm trying to get some color, but I also haven't put on lotion because I didn't think that I would have my socks down. I mean, there's plenty. Which white? <laughs> Your favorite coach. changes this weekend among there's a lot of people in and out okay so we're gonna move stuff around just make sure you don't waste your bets 
If I feel like you're wasting your bats, you're trying to overswing, you're not focusing on doing the right things, make changes. All right? Um, and that's what I want to do this weekend. Is that fair enough? Good. So give me the energy. All right? So you pick me, put me in. I want to play. Let's make sure we communicate. Okay? Um, I'll be calling the signals. Um, so let's communicate. Let me know where the batters are standing in the box. You know, if they're making adjustments. Um, I want us to all think together. Communicate with each other. Feel. We'll talk to each other. Your hair looks so good. The reason it looks good is because, like, if you feel it, it's like right here. You can't even like feel it because there's like such like a lump of just. I'm guessing excess hair. Bottom. What is one thing people don't know about you? People don't know. Hmm. People don't know that I can do this with my thumb. Yikes, that's creepy. Thumb flexibility. And I got a 2-1 for outside low. We got another coach Dylan moment. Flex for me, baby. Yes, yes. I made them voluptuous. Like voluptuous? Little, I love voluptuous. Yeah, like little, uh, little whipped cream filled donuts. Yesterday, uh, I think we did a pretty good job of going the other way for the most part. Uh, we did waste some at bats, and I think you, you know the people that were doing that know that. I mean, it is frustrating. You don't go up there and try to waste a bat. I get that, but we've got to we got to stay in it. Got to stay in the moment. Okay. Understand your role. Understand your job. Be prepared. That's all I can ask you. For, okay. Take it what you're gonna get. It's not so much of a hook. It's more that low rise and it stays right at the knees, okay? That's the pitch you want to hit. Double one. I've never heard it that way. Throwing the lefty, okay? Stop. All right, probably 58, 59 miles per hour. Little rise, mostly drop. Lefty's probably gonna see a drop in the curve away. You still gonna try to go in on, a, on everybody. Just to stick with some late rhythm and let's hit the soft stuff. All right, let's go. Hey, still anticipating the runner. Anticipating the runner. Offensively, great job coming back. Um, we see rise balls every day, every day, right? We know the spin of a rise ball, and we know how to hit a rise ball. We, you know what? Coach Forward, and you guys are smoking balls in the gap, okay? And I'm a, I'm a big believer that sometimes you got to see a pitcher a couple times, and this kid was pretty good. Um, but also, we need to make sure that in our approach, that we're putting in those rise ball type swings that we work on every day, and not take a snap back. Go, you know, if we, if we attack it early from the top, and when we miss some balls, or, you know, but we're just going underneath the ball. And we know the adjustment in our swing. People can't hit a rise ball because they don't know the adjustment in swing. You guys do. So let's know that before we get into that. Back. This is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Coach White has officially confirmed my nickname to Slayer. Slayer. Maddie, it's not Maddie, it's Slayer. Hey Lauren, ice in the arm. Getting right. Gwen, this is what post game Gwen looks like. <laughs> Championship Sunday. Um, good team we're going to be playing. Um, they do a lot of things well. Uh, last year they hit over 100 home runs, um, they've stolen a lot of bases, um, pitching um, at times can be good, so we're going to make sure we have a focus and come out and play a good game. Hey, I, I tell you what, what I've seen so far, we are doing an extremely good job of staying inside the ball at times and driving the balls the other way. Our best success is coming is coming middle of the field gap hopper, okay? So we're going to do that, great job. Well, when you've been the <laughs> And how many times did you guys do that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that part of it? <laughs> Good job. Uh, Megan didn't quite have your stuff today, but you battled and you kept that zero on the floor. And that's what it's about, right? Uh, sometimes you don't have your stuff, you just got to kind of fight your way through it. But right now, we got to continue to build a little bit better. Right? You know, let's not fool ourselves. We not need to get a lot better. Um, and the capabilities are there. Like I said, the only are exceptional. Okay, so we just got to get that, get that team camaraderie going and, and play like a team. And, uh, understand that we need to bring our best game each and every day as we're out there. I love Doral's sweatshirt on. It's a movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. Gillespie, where are we going right now? Yogurt Land. Yogurt Land! <laughs>
coach, are you aware that it's 2.44 a.m.? <laughs> Early morning workouts, right? Oh, you guys don't even have to go to sleep. You aware it's almost 3 a.m. and you still haven't gone to the locker room to drop off your uniforms and taken a shower? So you're tired, but what do we still have to do? And it's almost 3 a.m. Go to class. <laughs> Let's go to the locker room. Oh, go to the locker room. To return our gear. Have you guys showered after the game yet? No. Are we what? She's delirious. <laughs> she can't even hear me. And I sweat most on the team. 